All right, today we're talking about mouse traps. Look at that mouse go straight up the furnace on slippery copper pipe. I never would have guessed a mouse could climb straight up like that. You got a loaf of bread, you don't want a critter to get it, you put it on top of the refrigerator, you think nothing can get it. These mice can go anywhere they want to go. Okay, let's start out with a walk the plank trap. The trap works. And the instructions said put sawdust or water on the bottom. Of course, I'm a man. I don't listen to the instructions. It's like when you're on a trip and your wife says, don't go that way. You drive 90 miles the wrong way before you go back and do it right. We're men. We don't read instructions. We don't listen to directions. So I didn't put anything on the bottom of the five-gallon pail right away. And now the problem is, the mouse has started to figure out the trap. So the mouse is going to stretch, 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 and really try to balance and get the peanut butter. I've kind of learned you've really got to put the peanut butter on the end of the plank. Not a half inch from the end, at the very end. It's amazing to watch these tiny mice stretch and use their tails to balance. So you've seen some examples of this trap not catching the mouse. But overall, I'm happy with it. Nine times out of ten, you're going to get your mouse with a walk the plank trap. Okay, let's switch over to a rolling pin trap. You'll notice the mouse is a lot more cautious, a lot more tentative than with the other trap. Eventually, the peanut butter will lure the mouse in, but... I can't score this trap as high. Okay, I'll take a quick time out to do a little plug for my channel. Please subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to get up to a thousand subscribers. Um, if you watch YouTube videos, the one thing you're sick of hearing is like, share, and subscribe. But it really helps out a lot, so if you do, thanks a lot. I ended up catching two mice with this rolling pin trap. Uh, the trap's really well built. I'm going to try to build some of these myself, but whoever built this trap did a really good job. You can just touch it with your fingertips and it spins, but these mice are able to balance. You'll see it start to roll, and the mouse can kind of log roll and catch itself. So we're coming up on the last 20 second video for these rolling pin traps, and you're going to notice something that you're seeing over and over again. These mice can stretch so much um, when you use a five gallon bucket that it's going to anchor itself with its tail, it's going to balance itself, and you're not going to get a mouse every time. So let's summarize what did we learn. Number one, we learned that mice are ninjas. I can't believe some of the things I've seen in these videos, and I guess I would spend the extra five dollars and get a walk the plank trap. Uh, both traps work. I'd give a little bit of an edge to the walk the plank trap.